Hey guys, welcome back. This is Dominic with Silver Spoon Reviews, and this, instead of the last one, should be the last episode of, oh my god, Watch Dogs. I am so tired right now. It is very late, uh, and but I wanted to get this done. I was so close. So uh, the premise of this mission, for Sometimes You Still Lose, is that Damien has control over the CTOS, like all of it. But Damien had control of the cops, so they were just on my ass the entire time. It took me a great while to be able to just hit up each each point, uh, get away long enough, survive long enough, you know, for it to load up. Because you have to stay in the area while it's loading. And then once it's loading, you can go. Each area is kind of locked off, if you will. Like, you can kind of close off the areas, if you will. Um... You can hide pretty well once you get there, but it's the getting there that's the tough part, and then getting away that's the tough part. So I should have just, if I'm not mistaken, uploaded all three of them. I think I just got that completed, so we're jumping right back into it. We're in it now. Do you head back to that weak point, right where we started? Now it'll open up for you like a lady's... Uh, never mind. Wow. Thank you, T-Bone. That's what's important. Actually, am I even heading the right way? Okay, clear line of the satellite. You say that's the safety valve? And a little more. Once you're inside, you pull the trigger, locks out, Aiden. And if we're lucky, and I'm as clever as my CV says, you'll get a lock on Damien's location. That's Excellent. all I want. Is that... Okay, there we go. That's what I needed. I didn't know where it was. Yeah, I actually need to flip the fuck around. CTOS is still not my friend, I don't think, but... I think I've more or less gotten away from all the crazies right now. Which is fantastic because you guys really have no idea what I've had to deal with to get this. I'm, I'm sure you did if you've played the game already, but yeah, that was, that was fucking nightmarish. That was tough because they were just relentless. I mean, the helicopter was there and I, I mean, at one point I was trying to use a boat to be able to accomplish what I wanted and I was doing really well, but it just... It wasn't enough. I couldn't get back to the boat without dying. There was too much. Oops, shit. There was too much ground to try to run around, you know, between a, a boat and the between the water and any of the particular areas. Am I being shot at? Okay. But yes, this should be the last episode, guys. I'm excited. We're gonna wrap this fucker up. We've been going at it 45 something episodes. I spent a great many hours on this. And I'm ready, I'm ready to put it to bed. Like I said, I still may do some of the uh, optional side stuff and get. I would love to get 100% on this game just because I've already put so much other work into it. But we'll see, we'll see. I may just be done with this. What? Aiden Pierce, wait. We are dead sick. We've been watching. We know what you're doing. You're chilling the lines to CTOS. Enjoy the show. Give us 30 seconds. For what? 30 seconds inside CTOS. We drop in our code. Then, when the system reboots, DeadSec will control the machine from inside. We will correct what boom is broken. 30 seconds is all we need. 30 seconds, no one knows? Our little secret? We will be the watchdogs. No. Nice. I'm tired of all the noise. We will not forget this. Nice. Well, we'll give them their 30 seconds. Okay. Uh, wait, what? I like the music right now, it's pretty rockin'. Wait, what? There we go. Okay, so that automatically sets it, so I no longer need to do that. I need to do that still. If you go here, what is that free? Free anything? There's no power. That can't move, so that's... But neither can that. I guess it's this that's next then. There we go. And then we'll do this. And then we'll do that. That's what we wanted. Well, this is simple enough, I suppose. Oh, fuck. A link to a satellite from here, T-Bone's virus will reboot the entire system. It'll stop Damien. 
I'm gonna find him. And boom. Look at that shit. What did Oh, look at all that why did I have all that cash? Oh did it reboot already? I don't Oh, there's the blackout. I don't know what's going on, guys. Okay, using a boat. So it's saying he's out in the water. Oh, he's on this lovely little island. Oh, but we're right next to a marina. That's awesome. And we'll hop over this. And we'll go steal this boat. And we're gonna go find the fucker. Why are you so damn stubborn? Quinn's dead. You got your sister back, and Clara. She stabbed you in the back. She helped kill your precious Lena. You know it's true. What about you? Some might blame you for Lena's death. I wonder who... I just wanted to make sure I was heading her way, sorry. But why stop there? Perhaps we should blame you. As I recall, the Murloc job was your plan. I blame myself every day for the plan, for meeting you, for not stopping you when I had the chance. I don't make that mistake anymore. I see a problem, I step in. Oh yes, the vigilante. I've read your headlines. You're the only problem I see now, and I'm coming for you. Dun dun dun! It's just a big fuck you, Damien Branks. We are done with your nonsense. We are done with all the chaos that this fucking town has. My lord. But, you know what I still want to do? I still want to play the drinking game, and I want to beat that drinking... You know how much effort I put into getting to those five levels? There we go. I got, I got, so, ten levels overall. I need to get thirty levels. You know, it's fun. It's a fun game. I think I may, may, may I don't know. Power still running out there. That's Damien. What could possibly matter after the chaos that I just had to endure? Um, I've been to this lighthouse, haven't I? No, I've been to another island out here. One of these other islands had a dead body on it that I had to find. It was pretty demoralizing. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it... Um, no, I need to be on the other side. Yeah, I think I, I think it was this island. Ah, oh, which would be nice. Oh, I'm about to ground the boat. You know what? Don't care. Get out of the boat. Okay. I'm thinking... I'm not gonna be able to climb up this. Maybe? Nope, I'm gonna have to run around. Whatever. If I have to swim for a minute, I will. Getting that boat over there would have been such a pain in the ass anyways. Alright? Okay. I guess there was probably a po I think there's a dock over here, actually. I never, never get to it. Like I said, even the last time, yep, there's the fucking dock. And I'm sure Damien's boat, do I actually have to go to the dock? No, thank God. Remember Let's do this, Damien. Remember when you and I first decided to pool our talents? The schemes we were planning? <laughs> we had so much drive. Still can't. But never like this. Look outside. We've taken down a goddamn city. Pretty sure the dead body was in here. Oh, wait, wait, I can. Okay, cool. It just wasn't gonna let me for that minute or so. Yes, we took down a city, Damien. But, uh, I think it's time to take down you, good sir. Okay, guys, here we go. Are you all the way up at the top of the lighthouse? What is this dude? Come on. Now I'm spending my final hours standing on the widow's walk. That's what they call the lighthouse lookout. The widow's walk. You know what? Did you know that? That'd be I didn't. Seems fitting. Is he here? Everything reeks of conclusion. Oh, what's this? Is that anything? I don't like how like crop the cameras. I'm not actually walking very fast, so we're we're slow motion. Oh, except for that. I can't. Can I? Oh, I guess I didn't even notice this. Dude, it's so slow to turn. He's gonna shoot me to death before I can do anything. That fucking lighthouse is. Really? 
Really? We're having a battle at the top of the Come fucking on. lighthouse? Surprise, surprise. I mean, really? You got a speech, Damien? Anything you want to say? I know who I am now. That's it. That's all you got. Hey, fuck you. Look at you. You plowed over people to get to a mob pod. You think you're absolved because your cause is what? Noble? You played me. That's what this is about. I played you! Clara is as much your fault. So is your niece. That's why you sent your family away, right? They know what you are. You play a beautiful game. But sometimes you still lose. Blah, blah, blah. Jesus, you guys talk a lot. God damn it. What the fuck is he doing here? What are you doing here? Sorry, pal. New contract. Kick it over. Of course. What? Come on, kick it over. Of course. Of fucking course. Oh, you're hilarious. You know, you guys take things far too personally. That's your problem. That's why this went wrong. There's lessons to be learned here, fellas. Up, 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 up. Phone two. Give it to me. Come on, hand it over. I can't. Oh, shit, shit, shit. Oh, okay, quick time. Nice. Really? Oh, shit. I don't know what Damien wanted in those final moments. Death, I suppose. I thought I could fix a little girl's death. But instead, it led to all of this. Exposed lies, corrupted kings, a broken city. And me, a changed man. I don't look back anymore. I don't regret. I look forward. Everything is connected. And I'll use that to expose, to protect. And if necessary, to punish. Who am I, the fucking Punisher? I guess that's that's a late night critique right now. I'm tired, guys. <laughs> it's it's very it's it's actually really early morning now. Oh, whew. I'm not gonna lie. That Once ending again, was a bit. Mayor oh, wait. Is dead. Oh Police shit. I'm not revealing any information. The leaked documents found extensive corruption and deep ties between the mayor and the Chicago South Club leader, Lucky Quinn. Did the mayor kill himself over this exposure, or was he executed? Wow. Tabloid media right there, gotta love it. Public relations, Charlotte Gardner has issued a statement regarding the recent CTOS troubles. We knew all along that our CTOS network would be a target for hackers of all strengths and skills. It's been an excellent proving ground to demonstrate how robust our system really is. We're so pleased with the results. Our firewall security withheld the worst of the attacks, and in some cases, trip switches closed the systems off before any access could be gained. Your personal information remains secure. Our CTOS network is restored to full operations. Wow. Gotta love spin, man. In a world where we want to spend more time with loved ones, be active in our communities. Have safer, healthier homes and cities. Bloom Industries listen to you and your needs. We are embarking on a global journey. We want the world to be a community. CTOS 2.0, focusing on you, putting you on the global stage. CTOS 2.0, making smart cities even smarter. Hmm. I wonder what happened with DedSec. We didn't really do much with them. ...with a woman who claims to know the vigilante, Aiden Pierce. Renowned child psychologist Yolanda Mendez is with us. God damn it, Yolanda. What are you doing here? story is extraordinary. You actually know Aiden Pierce, the man we know as the vigilante. Tell us how that came about. I met Mr. Pierce through the family. His sister. This was a surprise to us. We couldn't find any information about him at all. It's great that you've come forward. You were treating her son for trauma? Yes, well, naturally, I can't discuss any of that. Not even their names. No, 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 no. <laughs> we wouldn't ask you to. But 
That's how you met Aiden Pierce. What's he like? It's impossible to say for certain what he's really like. He masks his personality, and he's very good at it. Is he? It isn't like someone playing poker. This is a very smart man who is looking to gain the upper hand in every situation. And you're writing a book. Yes, I am. It's a book about the whole experience, a study on Mr. Pierce. I really wanted to explore this complex man's mind. I'm sure it'll be a fascinating read. Dr. Mendez, thank you. Trying to make some money, I see, Yolanda. What am I gonna do about you? There we go. I'm wondering about that, Zach. sick has had enough. Our warnings have fallen on deaf ears. Our reputation has been attacked by weaklings such as default. Heed our final warning. There will be a reckoning. We are vigilant against the Watchers. We are capable. We are unstoppable. We are at war. Huh. That's not ominous. While a statement from the Commissioner's office acknowledges the recent decline in criminal activity, the vigilante known as the Fox is only given the slightest praise for his crime-fighting efforts. An anonymous source told our reporters that members of the police department are more enthusiastic about the vigilante than they are allowed to publicly disclose. Wait, our name is Fox now? Was it always Fox and I just don't it's remember that? With a trail of evidence and the arrest of Joseph DeMarco. But Chicago law enforcement are assuring the public that their investigation into human trafficking is far from over. Not long after DeMarco pled guilty to all charges, police confirmed that an employee of the state government had evidence connecting the governor of Illinois to the human trafficking ring. Ooh, nice. Nice. Again, we have one more mission in human trafficking. Pieces ...from the shocking chaos brought on by a massive CTOS malfunction. The city experienced major power outages, bridge disruptions, and thousands of dollars in damages. While Just CTOS thousands? ...is back online, many are raising questions about the safety features needed to run a complex system in a major city. Is it gonna end? Oh! I'm holding up. I got one last phone for you to chase. Maurice finally gave in, then suddenly he was all talk. I'll give you a location, the rest you can work out yourself. That's business, huh? Yeah, that's right. It's all business. Jordy's like that. Tidy fixer. Keeps the loose ends clean. Maurice is one of his loose ends. And he's ultimately my problem. He's the one who shot my car. Killed my niece. I want to say we're different, but I don't know anymore. How many people have I hurt? Killed? Who deserves to die? Who decides that? I'm not going to even lie. I keep totally forgetting about Maurice. Like, I know every once in a while it'll be brought up, but he's just so out of the picture. Like, bringing him in at the end like that, that's... A bit much, wouldn't you agree? I don't know. I don't I don't know. Is there more? I know that I'm sure that I can continue playing and get the last of everything. Oh, here we go. Act five is done. Um, that looks like me. That's weird seeing myself like that. I don't. Clean off some loose ends. I what? I can't. I know you'd be back. You know what? Guys like us, we don't know when to stop. <sighs> You're not worth it, dude. You're the last. <laughs> You're not fucking worth it. Hell. He's a victim in all of this. And I've seen enough death. He's gonna get a second chance. We both are. I'm not gonna lie. I like that little touch. That was nice. I was wondering what we were gonna do about him. Like, like I said, I had kind of forgotten about Maurice. The fact that he was, you know, kind of the, the tool that more or less led to Lena's death. But... Nice music. 
Uh, it was one of those things where it just out of sight, out of mind, I guess. But that, I do like that touch there at the end. That was a nice way for Aiden to begin again, if you will. A nice way to be able to say, I'm not just this murdering psychopath who goes out for pure vengeance. You know, it's kind of... Punishment and vengeance aren't always the same thing if people forget that from time to time. Look at all those people named Andre. That was ridiculous. Uh, France, what are you gonna do? So, that was Watch Dogs, guys. I loved it. Um, got a bit repetitive. And I mean, definitely had a, an, you know, open, sandboxy type feel to it. A lot like GTA or even Ubisoft's Assassin's Creed, if you will. And while it doesn't quite rank up with either of those series or like their latest titles like GTA V or Assassin's Creed Black Flag, it was fun. There was a... Uh, the learning curve was steep. <laughs> it uh, kind of just got off to begin with. And if you weren't a, a shooter in particular, you know, or at least enjoyed those type of things, it could take a little bit to get it under your belt what exactly you were trying to do. But the story was was more or less solid. It got a little ridiculous there at the end. I just, uh, all at once it happened was Claire, and all at once our family, we, we left them basically, or they left us by force of us. Whatever you want to say, because I don't I don't know what's going to happen to uh, to Nikki and to, to Jax, so hopefully they're okay. <laughs> I don't know. And the whole Clara thing was a bit, like I said, a, a bit rushed there at the end. Like, we find out she's the one who was also hacking the Merlot job. She's the one that we were trying to find that entire time. And then she tells us the end, and then she gets shot before we could even, like, resolve the situation because she's leaving flowers there for some reason. Like, I don't understand. Like, and of course it was a bit, it was a bit much when, you know, she's actually shot at the cemetery and we realize she's the one leaving the flowers for Lena. Like, I don't know. I don't know. A, a, like I said, a bit much. I Unexpected. I was not expecting it. But... I can't say I'm particularly pleased with that type of thing. She, from everything we know of her, didn't seem to be that type of person. And for all those emotions and for all those details to be revealed right there at the end, it's a bit hard to swallow. Um, as for Damien, I don't know. I don't think we were given an option not to kill him. I was kind of quick finger or like quick trigger if you will with that i wasn't even realized what i was doing i was when it goes focused like that i just kind of start shooting everybody so if there was a way for him to, i don't really think that there was i am gonna look it up after this because i am super curious but i don't think that there was any type of way for him to live and i'm actually speaking of speaking of people that lived remember uh oh my god what the hell was his name default he lived and I didn't actually get a chance to look up whether he's supposed to, like whether that's part of the story, or whether I had the I actually had an opportunity to kill him. The first go around that I chased him down and actually caught up with him, I'm pretty sure I could have destroyed the car, but I just I failed at it. So I don't know if that was just me. Maybe it's a a premise for part two, if you will. You know, Watch Dogs two. I don't know. All in all, though, guys, I I enjoyed the game. It got a bit rough at times, and I don't know why I stayed up so late doing the, the last few of these episodes to, to get them all together and finish the game, but I am so glad I'm, I'm done with this game. So Jean-Pierre Mical did voice for Aiden, there's a bunch of other people there. Oh god, look at all those other names for voice talents. Nice. But, I would recommend. It's a, it's a long game, I don't know if it's something you could, I mean, I guess you could rent it from like Gamefly or something. But it's definitely a long game. I'm glad to be done with it. I'm glad to be able to wrap it up. The The idea still is to, I would like to spend some time, it may be a few weeks before the episode comes out, but do everything else, you know, get all of the extra side missions and online stuff done. And then the very last thing be that human, tra I'm sorry, the weapons traffic, weapons trade, whatever, the very last weapons trade mission, because it's supposed to be a really intense mission. And I think that'd be a great way to, to go out on this, you know, show off the 100% minus that one thing, everything that you can get, things like that, and then I think we'll call it quits at that point. I may, I may not, I may get bored and decide because I'm not recording any of it that I don't want to play it anymore. I don't know. But we still have, at the moment, we still have Tomb Raider, we still have The Last of Us, I want to get those taken care of before September hits because 
uh, there's so many games coming out in the next few months right before the holidays. Everything from Super Smash Bros. for Wii U to both Borderland games, Borderland the pre-sequel and um, Tales of the Borderlands, one by, uh, oh my god, one by, is it, yeah, one by 2K, and then one by uh, Telltales, which is going to be fantastic. And then, I mean, there's, there's a slew of other games as well. Destiny will be coming out here soon. I'm very excited for that. That should be fun. So, overall, probably... I don't know. I'm, I'm being generous now because I'm, I'm saying that I like it. Probably a 4 out of 5 for this game. I could definitely see it make, maybe working its way down to a 3 by the time I really sit down and, and critically think about it. But, well, worth a rental. Um, or if you have game flyers or some other type of uh, renting program that you can kind of hold on to it for a little bit, I would definitely say... Get your hands on it. The online's pretty fun, especially like the online, um, the free realm. Playing with friends and just bullshitting around is just a, a grand old time. So otherwise, guys, this is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews, and thank you for watching this 45 long part, uh, I'm sorry, 45 part long series of Watch Dogs. If you guys enjoyed it, leave a like down below. Let me know what you thought about the series. Let me know what you would have done, what you did if you played the game. Love hearing from you guys. If you have any games you'd like me to play, hit me up. Uh, I have Facebook, Twitter, all that stuff is, is on the YouTube page. You can find any of that. You can hit me up anywhere. Let me know the type of games you think you'd want me to play that you'd enjoy. I'd uh, love to take some what I'm, what sort of suggestions. But uh, other than that, guys, I'm going to let the credits roll. If there's anything afterwards, we'll deal with it then. But I'm going to shut up now. Have a good night, and I will see you in our other series.
Thanks to you, CTOS Network has had a successful year. With CTOS Chicago setting the standard, we are proud to announce an expansion into other major cities across the country and around the world. There's no better way to bring the city right to your doorstep. Look for CTOS 2.0 in the new year. CTOS, the future at the touch of a button. That's incredibly disturbing for it to end that way. And log off. We got the final trophy, guys. I'm not waiting on anything in particular, I don't think. I like the car, though. It's a nice car. I am curious. We're going to do one final thing. Oh, I don't think I can get in there. Just, uh, just wanted to double check. Okay, guys. Again, this is Dominic with Silver Screen Reviews, and thanks for watching this series. Have a good night, guys, and I will see you in the next part.